Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I am the Bearded OG, and we're going to go out uh, and uh, do some more exploring and see if we can get closer to, if not all the way to the mid zone in this episode. Uh, so this is where we need to get to, but as as of right now, I have not opened it up. Um, notice, too, that if we go here, there's the opportunity for um, unstable, yeah, unstable power. And even through here, too. But it looks to me like maybe we can't get to... Or, or we have to go through these nasty places to get the unstable power, I'm guessing. Um, that's a low and even lower. So, yeah, maybe what we do is we go here. But we've got this new antenna as well. So I think that... We can scan that and this. Yeah, so we can do we can do two scans uh, to get to both of those locations. Um, but we can't do a third. Wait, what? Oh, I thought we could only do one scan or or two scans per antenna. You know, per um level of antenna, I guess, whatever I meant by that. Hmm, I don't know. This has a highway all the way to there. And these will open up highways too, eventually. But we have to go to the to the zone first. Okay, well, n nevertheless, let's go to, to this zone um, and see what happens. And also, let's look at it for a second too. So we have Malfunctioning mess, violent voltage, and swift storm. Yikes. I don't like swift storm. <laughs> it looks like there's no... Uh, looks like there's no normal storms, I guess. Because it says none. And... There's very low fuel, but but very high houses and resources, like maxed out. A couple of unscanned uh, or not recognized anomalies. Well, no, one anomaly and one unstable power. And some kind of nuclear thing that's not recognized and another type of vehicle. So, okay, well, anyway, let's head on out. We have our new... Newly upgraded vehicle here, and we should. Oh, it looks like I need a little. Put a little fuel in there. Just top it off a little bit, and our gas can should be full. Um, that one's full, and this one is full, uh, because I, I don't have a. I don't have an extra fuel tank. I did put the side fuel tank on, and then I decided to take it back off and put an extra battery on. And I also, uh, I did. I don't think I did this on camera, but I also made the mini turbine, which is supposed to just give us kind of like a trickle charge to our battery. Um, but anyway, the cars should be in, in perfect condition. We fixed all the quirks in the last episode. And I'm really wanting to... Oh, oh the other thing that I did too, as I'll show you, is that I moved kind of all the rarer items and non-part items, you know, flares, food, that kind of thing, uh, into here. Uh, but these are the things that we need a lot, uh, quite a few of to make that next level engine, the turbo light engine. And it's um, right here. So we need we need 42 of those crystals to make this. Um, so I'm really, you know, and I do I do come across them, but I don't come across them very often. They're, you get them from scrapping armored panels and doors and things like that. And I don't know if there's another source of them. Uh, looks like we have a message on our fax machine. Houston, we have a problem. It's back. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. And, um... Yeah, I haven't actually... I haven't left the... Um... The base yet, so none of this stuff's reset. Except for these... The computer and the radio always reset. So this gives us a... A continual supply of plastic electronics and 
copper wire. I wonder, I wonder if that's supposed to be that way, because the dumpster doesn't. Yeah, see, the dumpster doesn't reset. This car doesn't reset, but that always does. So, it seems inconsistent. I'm not complaining. I'm, I love the, you know, the free electronics and all that stuff, but it just seems a little inconsistent. Is all. Um, am I storing? I sort of kind of organize stuff, but not, not completely. I sure like the fact that I discovered the Y key for sorting storage. I, I don't know why they don't have that listed, but it again, maybe it's just because it's a um, a bug that they didn't intend to not list. Uh, this is a this is where I'm going to store the larger stuff, and yeah, we'll put this in here. Okay. Let's skedaddle. Wait a second. Do I have... I've got one full thing of putty. Um, we should probably make a couple of things. How's my pry bar? Oh, I got a, I got a fresh pry bar. Okay. Let's make um, another thing of putty. A battery jumper. A ceiling kit. Uh, I could make a light kit and a mechanics kit, but stuff just takes up a lot of room is all. That can stack there. Um, and that can go in there. I think we'll, I, if we can, we can make, you know, we can make the light kit in the mechanics kit on the road too, right? So, uh, light and or electricians. Yeah. We can make all that on the road if we have to, so I'm not going to take up any more space right now. Oh, good. We got our liberator, too, which we're going to use. In fact, I'm going to put that in here. And you know what? It looks like I need a, a new hand vac. I guess I ran out of... Or, or the other one I had must have broken. Okay, so we got the hand vac, too. Now, it doesn't leave me a whole lot of space. Uh, let's put you down here. And, oh, you know what else you can do is you can press Y in your own inventory and it'll sort stuff too. Um, I'm assuming it's smart enough to to make the best use of space, but I don't know. I like to put I like to put these things down in here. Just seems to make the most sense to me to have that stuff fit down in there. And this we're gonna use first so that it um you know it it'll wear out first all right let's go that's right i don't have to put it in shift anymore because of that doohickey that we put in the back there so our car is quite a bit tougher than it was before uh, unfortunately logging out of the game and coming back in because uh, it's the next day for me in real life. Didn't fix the issue with some of the detail items not appearing. But I think that will fix itself when we when we find a, a new item and then do the swap out. That seems to be what fixes it. So, All right. We are here. Um, Let's see. That's got low energy, low energy. That has an Arta Investigator. This has a squire. The squire is the one that has the um, uh, the armored stuff, but the investigator can too. Yeah, let's go. Let's go here. What the hell was that? Uh, okay, so we have two spots with some energy and a couple places to to loot. So, yeah, let's head up towards those places. Mm. 
want to see if this truck has armored doors, perhaps. No, it's just normal doors. I'll grab this, though. Oh, shit! That scared me. Um, we want to do this. <laughs> limb, pulse, limb pulse emitter for the rescue there. Little bastards. Okay. Oh, we got a we got a little shed here too, so. One thing I was thinking about is maybe using my hand back a little more frequently when you, you know, as opposed to individually picking all this shit up. So let's get all the tires scrapped. And we'll get the door scrapped. Alright, and then just pick everything up. I'll make sure we get it all. I think that got everything. Okay, cool. Let's go in here. Ah, I need an electrician's kit. Don't know if we have all the parts. Maybe I should have made one of those. Let's take a look. We don't. Okay, well, I guess we won't be doing anything then with that one. Alright, let's see. We want to turn right and just keep following the road. Uh, looks like this is very steep to get from this part of the road to there, so we'll probably have to go all the way around. Hit this one, and then we should be able to drive along through here to get that one there. And we have a couple of uh, buildings along the way. This guy's probably going to aggro on us, but we can limb pulse him off. It's just that it uses so much electricity, is all, but is what it is. Fuck off, dude. I love that. Oh, 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 oh. Got a can opener. See ya, sucker. Oh, wait a minute. Doggone it. I went down the wrong road. I'm glad I noticed that before I got all the way back down there again. Grab this. There's some kind of weird graphics thing going on in this zone. Look at that. Huh. And we'll see what's in here as well. Got some orange paint. And another note. Lab report five. Let's also get this. This stuff. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Oh shit. That was just our thing wearing out. I don't know what's going on with. Uh, hopefully, that's just in this zone and not the whole game, because that's the first time I've seen that graphics issue there. Oh, we missed one. Both of those grinders are done. Ah, shit. Okay. We're gonna need five more pieces of plastic before we can make another one. Put this in here, too. 
Well, hopefully we'll come across that in the next building we can go into. Wait a minute. That anchor wasn't there a moment ago. Now it is. Oops. No, I don't have to do that anymore. It's going to take some getting used to. Dude, get the hell out of here. Look at this. Nice. Ah. Oh. Everybody just leave me alone and get out of here. That is cool, man. I don't think I I mean I've seen um I've seen anchor power just appear out of nowhere. But I haven't seen I haven't noticed um, an actual anchor, you know, with the power and all that in it. I just appear like that. It's really weird. Um I was trying to get to the, the box underneath, but I guess you can't do that without breaking that. Okay. Now we have to find some plastic before we can do anything else. Oh, <laughs> it's just force of habit, right? Oh my goodness, that's funny. See if we can find an armored car or truck or whatever we can use the uh, I can't remember what it's called but the thing that lets us just take the parts off whole but we may not have any of those in this zone This is just jam-packed with bunnies. There's four plastic. Is is that what we needed was four more? I think we need, yeah, we need one more plastic. Okay, and we'll find it. Get out of here. If they were the kind of bunnies that would recharge your battery, be fine with it, but they're not. So while we're going down the road, 64... I'm gonna avoid left and right. Yeah, see, look at the red digital numbers on the left-hand side of my screen. They're slowly going up, and that's because of our turbine, which we can't really see from here. Um, this thing here, that thing is spinning, and so it's trickle charging the battery, which is nice. Okay, I'm gonna have some buildings coming up this way. Watch out for the can opener. I haven't actually run into one of those yet. <laughs> yet being the key word, right? I imagine they probably do some pretty significant damage. Alright, we're not going to be able to do anything with you until we get a scrapper. Get in through that door. Really? Here we go. We got one thing here and no plastic. Damage him. Okay, I guess that's it. 
That was lame. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's funny that it puts it in drive even before I get all the way in the car. Was that? Maybe that anchor power was there before. I'm confused. I have to go back and look in the video, but... Because... No, it wasn't, because there... There was the two original ones... That are still there. Yeah, okay, so that, that thing did pop out of nowhere, which is good. I mean, he gave us two Kalim. I'll take it. Alrighty. Let's do this building first. Um, and then we'll get the anchor power. And hopefully we can get at least one thing of plastic out of here. Uh, let's try this. Still no plastic. There's a couple things I could scrap if I could get some plastic. There, uh, yeah, there we go. It's the soda fountain drink cups. The, that's the plastic there, right? Yeah, plastic. And then we got another note, too. So this lab report's four. So I think we got five and four. Is this, uh, no, that's been broken. All right, I believe that's it for in here. is out of the trunk and then I think the power is just right up here yeah it's right there grab this one too Now we're going to go cross country to get this third one. I don't usually find stuff around those substation thingies. Oh, there's that graphic glitch crap again. I want to go over this direction. I don't think there's anything over there. And we got a storm coming in too. There. We're heading right towards the 
Anchor. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. We just screwed up our tire. It needs a ceiling kit. Oh wait, hold on, I already have one. A storm coming too. Get away from the abductor and then take a look at the map. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I guess if we want to risk just going down this really steep hill, we'll get right to the road and a uh, couple more houses we might be able to hit, then we'll get out of here. I hope I don't regret this. Darn steep, man. Uh, let's go this way. Maybe over this way. Yikes. Okay, how are we doing? Got another pretty steep portion to get down. I just don't want to go, you know, balls to the wall down the hill because then we'll lose control and damage the car and that kind of thing. Here we go. All right, that wasn't too bad. Could have been worse. Yeah, let's just go. Yeah, I have to say that uh, I love that that little turbine trickle charger thing. The lightning rod was nice, but I mean, you could only use it when you were near any arcing electricity. Okay, we are going into a high instability zone, a malfunctioning mess of violent voltage, and swift storm. I don't like swift storm. That scares me more than anything else. <clears throat> um, our car is insulated, so I'm not too worried about the voltage. I don't know what malfunctioning mess means, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> um, but our goal is to go after the unstable power. So, let's do it. Oh, wow, and they're big ones, too and not too terribly far away. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I, I'm, I'm probably not gonna spend 
much time looting anything. I think we're just going to go for the power and then try and get the hell out of here. Uh, no, I want to go this way. Big ginormous pipeline there. Already a storm's coming in. our first unstable anchor. Okay. We want to go right. I thought they said a storm was coming in. I don't see it. Oh, I do see it. It's coming from the upper left-hand corner. Okay. Oppie said something, but I didn't catch it. What kind of bunny is that? A dust bunny. Okay, I don't know if a dust bunny is something we want on our car. Uh, Logbook. That's right, soldier. Uh, give him the boot. The army hasn't issued a hard wearing weatherproof boots for nothing. Your footwear is also anomaly proof. So get right in there and greet those hangers on with good firm with a good firm kick. That's it, son. That's how it's done. <clears throat> see how Harry takes here see how Harry here takes a moment, make sure he has some leverage and squarely aims the heel of his boot right at the center of the anomaly. It's easy, one swift kick and the thing is loose. Remember, don't use your bare hands and don't touch the anomalies with any exposed skin. Always be sure to check all around your vehicle, particularly on the road, and only continue your journey once you can be sure you've cleared off all that all the hangers on. See how Harry here does a full circuit? You won't believe where all the places these guys find to attach themselves. There he goes again. Good job, Harry. Give him the boot, and don't worry. They don't feel a thing. It's not like they're alive. That doesn't tell me a damn thing. What is... Is this actually beneficial? Does it charge the car in some way? I don't know. Oh. That seems to be hurting me. Okay. Or something is. All right, let's keep moving towards the other um, power. So, yeah, we want to get back to the road. And we do be, need to be mindful of that storm that's coming in. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we're not going to stop for resources. Just, just want the unstable power. And it's off to the right. If I find an investigator or an armored vehicle, I'll stop.
Um, or also a moving van too. Because those have usually have decals and paint and that kind of thing in them. Alright, let's roll. Car's insulated. Ha uh -huh. <laughs> That doesn't mean it's like invulnerable, but it's much more resistant. Uh, okay, let's pause here for a second. Um, I think... Let's see here. We could go for this one here because we got pretty flat land to get to it. We just need to go this way a little further to, so it's activated because we're just a bit too close to it. Okay, that's good. Now let's get turned around. Still coming back with 6.8 K limb, and most of that, I believe the majority of that's going to be unstable. And among other things, I'm hoping that that means, whoa, what the hell is that yellow stuff? I'm hoping that that means, oh, we're in yellow storm already because it's fast storms. That we can make the blowtorch. Oh. This will give us some heals real quick. So as long as we get there before the red, we'll be fine. When I first discovered the the beating heart, which is what that's called, I didn't realize it healed your vehicle because I was on foot. I wasn't near the vehicle when I discovered it. And then I found out later that it does give your car some heals. Healsies. All right, let's get out of here. I guess we brought back 3.4 unstable and 3.4 normal. Okay. Uh, the car's in reasonably good condition. It's going to need a little bit of attention, but uh, it's not too bad. What I want to do is um, see if we can make the blowtorch. So let's just put stuff in here. And I want to put the big stuff in here. Uh, not that. The rest of that we want to continue taking with us. Uh, let's grab these paint items and put them in here. And these two things can go in the fax machine. And the rest of that stays in there. Well, except for you. Yay! Uh, no, you yeah, you jig your through to anomaly pest control. You, you use your Yuri through. I don't know what the hell that means. We're experiencing an unusually high volume of calls right now, and all of our operators are busy. Your call is important to us. In order for us to best direct your request, please select from the following options. Press 1 if the anomaly you are trying to deal with is in your home. 2 if the anomaly you are dealing with is outside. 3 if the anomaly is responsible for any kind of loss of life. 4 if you think you have become an animum. Animum. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's check these out real quick. Um, so lab reports 4 and 5. That's going to be here, I think. This is the real deal. This is how we truly make money from limb technology. Forget the physics. Forget engineering. It's the chemistry. 
What we've got here is the secret to host a new, more efficient catalyst. See, petroleum refining is dependent on a variety of catalysts, right? But there are a boatload of applications and everything from pharmaceuticals to biocatalysts. They are the secret ingredient in so many modern industrial processes, and we have to uh, we have the key to lowering their activation energy to ludicrously low levels. Imagine how much the chemical and petroleum companies would pay for this, and if Arda won't sell, then we should really wait. We shouldn't talk about this here. Okay. Uh, almost 150 years ago, William Sturgeon demonstrated the first electromagnetic. Uh, electromagnet, sorry. I'm having trouble reading today for some reason. <laughs> uh, lifting nine pounds of iron with the current taken from a single battery. The doors to electromagnetic research were thrown open that day. Tomorrow we'll take what may be the most significant step toward uh, forward since Sturgeon. Limb technology has allowed us to shape smaller, denser, and ever more powerful electromagnets. This year we demonstrated the most efficient pulsed field magnet to date, running even cooler than we had expected. It's all been prelude to what comes next. For tomorrow, my friends, we shall switch to the most powerful electromagnetic uh, electromagnet yet devised. It's going to get a little warm down in Lab 5, but we'll be demonstrating, but what we'll be demonstrating will also be stable, safe, and very exciting. It's all thanks to our research, your research here at ARTA. Okay. Um, let's see, while we're in here, we might as well do this other stuff too. So we found crimson paint, feeling dramatic, express yourself with the burnt red of glowing ruby, of an angry lipstick, of a dying sun. Extensive research suggests that orange is the perfect fusion of yellow and red, and in fact may be the fastest of colors. It's up to you to test that theory. The fastest. Here we have the fax machine, the, this frequency analyzer and X tractor machine. Shouldn't be receiving anything. It's even is it even hooked up? Yeah, that is kind of weird that it's receiving stuff. Uh, this is our basketball thingy. Um, here we have utilities. Our roof jet, uh, roof rack. Yeah, it's a roof rack. <laughs> uh, what more can you say about it, right? And then here we have unstable anchor. This anchor was clearly has clearly suffered a great deal of damage and degradation. That, or perhaps it experienced some kind of overload or imbalance. It may not be wise to touch this, or take it away, or keep it. And you're a wise person, right? No, because I grabbed it. Malfunctioning mess. High levels of magnetic interference combined with broad-spectrum atmospheric anomalies mean that things are constantly going haywire in this part of the zone. Hmm, okay. Swift storm. That basically means the storm's coming in a lot faster. And it did. Uh, okay, so did, it didn't... Oh, well, we already learned about dust bunnies, but it didn't tell us what they actually do. Um, so I wish, I wish... I mean, it talks about kicking him. So what? whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, all right, let's see if we can research the blowtorch. That is the number one thing I want to do with unstable energy before we do anything else. Um, so that's going to be over here. Haha, -ha, look at that. We got enough. Okay, so let's do that. Now the next question is, what is it going to take for us to make it? Marsh eggs. Haven't come across those yet. Probably That's probably going to be a mid-zone thing. Okay. Um, the other thing we should do is... I haven't looked at this for a bit. A padded parka um, gives us it gives our own body 30% impact resistance. I mean, why not, right? Personal inbag uh, or airbag gives 45%. It uses six chemicals, but 45% impact resistance, that's helpful. Uh, what else do we have? We have a grounded sweater. Oh, man, look at that. That uses 10 plasma. That's expensive. But we get 30% electrical resistance, and I'm getting zapped a lot. The thing is, is can we wear both of those at the same time? Hmm. I think I'd almost rather have this. Okay. And does that mean we just automatically wear it now, or do we have to... I think it does, because... There's no mechanism that I know of in this game to where you can change clothes it just automatically goes on your body after you make it so we might as well do this too i know it used chemicals but 
I want to get to here, but we need something called swamp coral before we can make the large backpack. Stiff shirt, carbon fiberglass. What does that do? Oh, piercing resistance. Okay. We got logbook stuff about that. But I think we, we get the idea. Electrical resistance and impact resistance for both of those. Okay. All right, so we made ourselves just a little bit, a wee little bit tougher there. Uh, let's see. We still have 2.6 unstable. Um, so we got the... Um, we learned the... Um, whose was it? The blowtorch. This, okay, so this will give us the pneumatic locker, which is supposed to have virtually unlimited storage. We could do that. Um, what does this do? Rejunction or junction restabilizer. Nah, we need a bunch of thermosap crystals for that. Uh, okay, so let's look in here. We needed the carbon fiberglass for that one thing. We could research that, but that doesn't mean we have the materials to do anything with it. Oh. We can make the plasma scrapper. Advanced workbench. That's what maybe that's what we should be looking at first. Yeah, we just need four steel sheets. I think we should do this, because a lot of, of these higher-end things require this advanced workbench. Um, so we just need to make four steel sheets. Let's go to here. Oh, we don't we don't have enough unstable energy for that. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, then how about we how about if we make the plasma scrapper? That doesn't mean again like I said that we're going to be able to actually do anything with it, but or have the materials to make it, but let's learn it. I'll bet you it requires the advanced uh, workbench to make. Maybe. We'll see. We're sh God damn it. We're short one plasma. Can you believe that? Okay, well, at least we can make it. And it doesn't require the advanced workbench. So, I shouldn't have spent all that plasma on making that armor for us. But we needed the armor, too. So, just have to wait a little bit longer. Alright, guys. Well, I think that's going to wrap up today's episode. Let's see what the dumpster has for us. Just basic stuff there. Okay. Um, and then I'll, I'll go ahead and scrap the car and this stuff again. And then, uh, yeah, we'll head out in the next episode and I'll get the car fixed up and all that and see where we're going to go. So that still didn't open up a, a route to to the mid zone. Hmm. So we're going to probably have to... Yeah, this one apparently does. And... But I'd like to go back into these nasty zones um, and get some more unstable power. Of course, none of these happen seem to have unstable power now. It, it fluctuates back and forth. So yeah, I, I think probably what we'll do is we'll go here in the next episode, which theoretically should then open up, you know, here. And I'd like to go... I'd like to hit this one too, maybe. Uh, so we'll see how things go. But anyway, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.